How's it going guys? My name is Maximilian. I kind of look like Nicolas Cage. A new trailer has just hit the internet, and it could only mean one thing. Welcome to episode one of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, the gameplay breakdown. Oh, I wish I kept up with these. So here's a ton of information you guys need to keep up with today's trailer. Since the last live breakdown video I did from E3 2011, a couple critical system changes have taken place in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The first is called the Cross Arts, which is a 3 meter eating move that utilizes the supers of both your teammates for critical damage. These tag supers look really good, but I'm even more excited for the new Cross Assault mode. Cross Assault is a new mechanic to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, but is extremely similar to an old mechanic called Duo Team Attack in the original Marvel vs. Capcom. Things get absolutely nuts when both teams activate Cross Assault mode and you have four characters on screen at once attacking each other. To control both characters, the joystick must enter a neutral position after you did a move from one character, and then it switches to the other. It might seem hard to grasp at first, but once you get your hands on it, it's actually not that bad. And it's even crazier when you see it in person. I swear, this game is like Street Fighter 4, but it's f***ing bonkers. So let's do a quick review of the Namco side of the cast so far. Kazuya, Nina, King, Marduk, Bob, Julia, Borang, Yoshimitsu, Steve Fox, Raven, and Kuma. Filling in the Capcom side is Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, Dalzim, Sagat, Kami, Abel, Hugo, Ibuki, Guile, and Poison. And if I do say so myself, Poison looks like one of the sexiest video game characters I've ever seen. Could you imagine if you met a person like that in real life? What is it? She's a what? Oh, I'm so confused. While I try to block out those mental images, let's move on to the latest character and gameplay trailer. It all started with a meteorite falling to the South Pole. What the hell? An unnatural object in the shape the of a What the hell box is this? Was discovered among the fragments of the meteorite. Story? Street Fighter doesn't have story. All over the world studied the object. Is that the Matrix of Leadership? Not finding any conventional way of examining its contents. Observed that it would give a strong response when living creatures came into conflict with each other. Researchers have nicknamed the object Pandora. Pandora? This isn't Borderlands. What is going on? Why? Why? What are they doing? This isn't Street Fighter. What the hell is this? Challenge me. That's it. You lost me. I'm done. I'm going home. I'm just kidding. Funny enough, I was also kidding about that Street Fighter 4 but bonkers remark. Considering what we're looking at right now, I'm gonna say that's holding up. So what does this Pandora rock in a box in the sky have anything to do with the gameplay, you ask? Well, get ready to see some serious shit. The new Pandora system allows you to sacrifice your tag-teamed partner for a significant power boost. Although it has not yet been defined what exactly this power boost does. Could it be an increase in damage? New special moves? New supers? Is it like X-Factor? I friggin' hope not! Luckily, Special Combat Advisor Seth Killian has already calmed my nerd rage-fueled emotions by saying that the Pandora mode is definitely not a simple comeback mechanic, and it's more like an unholy high-stakes gamble. I think I'll be okay with that. I really hope it's not that overpowered to the point where, in tournament play, both players would activate Pandora mode right at the start, completely ignoring the fact that it's a tag team game. But this is likely the worst case scenario. I'm sure they've been thinking about this Pandora mode for a really long time and balancing it out. So let's switch things up and take a look at the four newest characters to join the Street Fighter Cross Tekken roster. Relento's looking the exact same from what I remember him from CBS2 and the Alpha games. Standing light, standing light, standing light. Zangief finally gets added to the cast after months of doubt. But did you really think they wouldn't add Geef to a Street Fighter game? Lily makes an appearance from the Tekken side of the roster, which hopefully disapproves my suspicion that Ingrid was going to make it into this game. And last but not least is Dr. Wily from the Mega Man games, who was Dr. Light's rival and helped him create a series of humanoid robots to help mankind. Oh wait, that's Heiachi, never mind. And that brings the total cast of characters up to 26 now. And finally, let's check out a couple of the new features that are going to be included in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The first is two-on-two -two dual battles, which essentially allows yourself to control one character and a second player to control the other. 
What's even better is that you can actually go online with this feature and have proper tag battles. But it gets even crazier with an all-out four-person simultaneous tag battle called Scramble Mode, where all four characters are on the screen being controlled by four different people beating the hell out of each other. It's probably the closest thing Street Fighter's gonna get to Smash Brothers. Briefing Mode is something that's been requested by Street Fighter players since Super Street Fighter 4. It allows you to team up with a friend online and enter a full training area where you can practice all your combos and anything you want at any time. You can also enable a fight request mode, so while you're training with your friend, you can automatically go into a tag battle online. It's really refreshing to see the Street Fighter crew take on all these online options of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, because it's the one thing that fighting games really need, and it's that full and robust online feature set. With all this stuff that was just announced, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is looking to be the full package. If you're as hyped as I am and would like to see more Street Fighter Cross Tekken breakdowns, Feel free to leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.